Do you want to make a local multiplayer game that utilizes gamepads and the keyboard and mouse? Well look no further as this tutorial will show you the way. This tutorial will be using Unity version 2020.3.24 F1 LTS with a 2D template. We will also need the input system package installed via the package manager, which I have the version 1.2.0 installed. With the package installed, we need to create the input asset by right mouse clicking in our asset folder, create, then input actions. I won't go in depth here since I have a separate tutorial that covers this asset, which can be found in the title card or the description below. We will create an action map, which then we will set up an action called move. We will set this action type as value with control type vector 2. Time to add the bindings, which I will add two composite bindings. I will map the first composite binding with the keyboard arrow keys, and the second binding will be my gamepad's d-pad buttons. This next step is very important, especially if you want specific devices to fall under the same control scheme. To set this up, click the no control schemes down arrow and select add control scheme. You will need to give the scheme a name that makes sense. For this, I will type keyboard mouse. We need to add the devices we want to be part of this control scheme. On the empty list, click the plus sign and find the devices, which for this example will be the mouse and the keyboard. You'll notice on the right hand side of this menu it says requirements with two options of optional and required. If your intended control scheme is to include both mouse and keyboard, make sure both input devices are set to required. Now we can create a control scheme for our gamepad in the same fashion as before. Now click on one of the composite bindings and on the right hand side of the window you'll see a control scheme matrix. Select the control scheme for each binding, save the asset, and close out of the input window. We need to create a player prefab object, create an empty game object, which I'll call player manager. I'm going to drop an image into my player manager as my player visual. Let's add a player input component to our player visual. Fill out the player input component by selecting the actions asset, leave default scheme to any, auto switch can be left unchecked, default map set to our action map. You'll notice there's an option to select a camera. So let's create a camera object and place it in our player manager. Depending on how you want your camera, you'll need to set this up differently. But this is just a quick example of what can be done. Also, Send Machine is technically not supported for this feature, however, a link below shows a possible solution to make it work. Now we have a camera object for our player, fill out the player input component, we need to delete the main camera that is the default camera of the scene. I am going to create a very basic movement script which will grab the inputs from our move action and translate the player around the scene. I am using a quick setup of player movement for tutorial purposes only, attach the script to the player visual, and we can now create a prefab of our player. I just click and drag my player manager object down into my asset folder, delete the player object out of the scene. Create a new empty game object, which I will name don't delete. Attach a player input manager component. I will leave the join behavior as when button is pressed. Drag our player prefab into the player prefab option. I will leave joining enabled by default, and that way I don't have to code in the setup process. If you are wanting to create a lobby system, then you'll have to approach this differently. I am going to limit the number of players to two, and enable split screen again, setting the set fixed number of screens to two. With that, start the scene and type a button or mouse click to join a player for the keyboard and mouse control scheme, and press a button on your gamepad to have a player join with the gamepad control scheme. If you're feeling lazy, there will be a link to the GitHub repository in the description. As an FYI, it is known that some gamepads will have bugs such as Bluetooth connected gamepads. I have personally tested a Logitech controller, keyboard and mouse, Xbox 360 wired controller, and an Easy SMX wireless controller with no issues, but I have run into issues with PS4 controllers. I know most people don't make it this far into the video, so if you did, I appreciate you greatly. Don't forget to like the video and leave a comment. Let me know what you think. As always, thanks for watching, take care, and stay safe.